My name's Marianne Gooden. And I'm Victoria Thomas. And we work in the Textiles Conservation Lab of Art Lab Australia. We provide a range of textile conservation services, which includes treatment, preventive care, and preparing costume for display. It's really important to understand what the purpose is for why you're photographing. So whether you're doing a simple shot for identification purposes, in which case just having a garment laid out on a table and doing a quick happy snap will suffice. But for preservation reasons, um, it's really important to have a record of how a garment looks on the body. And to do that, you need to have an understanding of the body shape of the person at the time and the silhouette, particularly for a historic costume. If you're doing a photograph for a condition report or for preservation reasons, you probably want to capture the costume as it is. So uh, front vision, back vision, side vision, and maybe even some close-up details of areas of damage or repair or some embellishments. And what's really interesting with costume is focusing on the maker's label. Not all costumes have them but um, particularly sort of late 19th century makers labels are really interesting. They're often at the back of um, a bodice or skirt. So getting details of those is really good as well. And construction, construction details of historic garments are great to record. I think if you sort of have an overall understanding of what's in your collection and maybe pick out some of the more significant garments, whether that be because of their construction or their aesthetic significance, but also maybe the person who wore it or the donor. Yeah, just stylistically, maybe it's a really fabulous example of an 1850s crinoline or a 1960s sheath dress. You don't have to digitise everything, but making some clear decisions on why you're selecting what you're selecting for photography.